We're back with theCUBE's coverage of VeeamON 2022 from the ARIA in Las Vegas. We're talking pure data protection and nobody better to talk to <laughs> about you. that than your storage. You can't miss these guys when they're around because the orange crush is here. Dave Vellante for Dave Nicholson. Michael Sotnik is here. He's the Vice President of Global Alliances at Pure Storage. Michael, good to see you again. Thanks for the little golf Appreciate doily. It. Yeah. Appreciate that. Hopefully you get out there this mine weekend away in my bag. and uh, be seen. So yeah. how you doing, man? I'm Let's doing great. Face to face. It's wonderful to be face to face with theCUBE. It's uh, always a pleasure to have the opportunity to spend some time with you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Have the opportunity to get to spend some time together. You guys, um, it's just great being at a show. My first one back. And so I'm uh, you know, just feeling the energy from the room and uh, just great to come in here and see theCUBE all lit up. Yeah, Accelerate 2019 in Austin was an awesome event and, and one of the last ones that we did before you know, the pandemic <laughs> hit. Um, we did some, obviously, support for, for virtual. You guys are having another show, finally, face-to-face -face in June, so got looking it. forward to that. 20 but, days, 21 days, yep, we'll see you there. Yep, right, so tell us about what's going on with Veeam. Give us the update. Yeah, look, we're thrilled to be here as a sponsor for Veeam and for Veeam On. Uh, this is a long-standing partnership. You know us, right? So, found in 2009, started shipping product in 2012, um, really disrupted the block storage space with an all-flash solution. And you know it's it's a success story in terms of company going from single product to multi product to portfolio to solution. And along that way, the data protection use case and workload has really come into the you know kind of center focus for us. First with FlashBlade in the market, which is our unified fast file and object solution, and more recently with Flash Array C, which is our capacity optimized Flash Array for block storage, which is a great relationship with Veeam and an area where we've done some um, significant you know, joint engineering and the FAC, which is what we refer to it as, and the Veeam selling motion is extremely strong. Um, and you know, it's, it's solving a real problem. And that is you know, customers are increasingly being faced with these um, tighter and tighter SLAs to ensure the availability of their data is there. And then there's also you know, the, the security element. And I think a term that Veeam's using here was cyber resiliency, mm -hmm. which I like, right? I mean, you know, the um, safe mode integration, which is our solution for immutability and, and for um, anti-ransomware or, or one step to take to, to safeguard yourself in a, against a, a ransomware event, um, you know, that those are great complementary parts of us and Veeam. Uh, you know, Michael, I, I want to ask you about your shared vision with, with Veeam. I remember I was talking to Cause on theCUBE. Um, yeah. It might have been in 2019, I can't remember. Might have been the year before that. No, I shorts think or pants? There. Sorry? Was he in shorts or pants? He was in pants. Ah. Okay, so I was pushing him on, well, why don't you do it this way? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do tiering, all this stuff? And it just always came back to simplicity. He said, we optimize for simplicity over all this complexity and you know, we'll get the function through the ecosystem, partnerships, so is that the shared vision with Veeam? I mean, it's kind of, it's just work, it just works is their mantra, but, but talk about that shared vision, is particularly as it relates to data protection and cyber resiliency. Yeah, thanks so much for, for recalling that, Dave, because it, it, we hear it constantly. It's, it's in the, now that we're coming back to the office, it's in the hallways, it's out yeah. in front of conference rooms, you know, the, the elegance and, and the, and the um, value and simplicity is everywhere inside of Pure. Um, I would say it's part of our shared vision. I think it's customer centricity is at the core of what Veeam and Pure, you know, has really fused us together. We're both global, you know, their history is European based and grew up out of there and then have succeeded in North America. Ours is absolutely North America based, first on the West Coast, then across the country, and then finally into Europe. More recently, globally, and, and, and a lot of growth internationally, including APJ. So it's customer centricity, it's global, it's the way we go to the customer. So a partner-centric go-to-market motion is live and well in both organizations. Uh, solution providers, MSPs, GSIs, you know, a range of different ways to get to that customer. Um, and without a doubt, the customer experience is, is, part, of the, is part of the piece, and, and that's where our simplicity is um, front and center, and, and I know Veeam's is the same. To, 
digging into it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no. So, so out in the real world, are the conversations still about flash for backup and recovery, convincing people that that makes sense, or or have we moved on to where now it's the pure flash value proposition because people accept that flash makes sense? Where where are we in the real world? Yeah, I I think it's it's different in different industries, different use cases, different workloads, different environments, and it's um, part of a bigger story. But I think what, what is happening now is um, we were before the inevitability of Flash as the data center primary storage solution. But now, like, I don't think anyone would debate that, right? And, and I think now in data protection, Flash as a component to a robust, secure, data protection, both as a target for backup and as a source of recovery, is an inevitability to be part of that conversation. So, so Flash pure, is there. You guys like to be first at a lot of things. You know, it gives you bragging rights, but it also gives you market momentum. Again, I'll pull my, my bag of Pure memories. I remember meeting Scott Dietzen, who was the first CEO of the Pure. There's only been two, to my knowledge, right? Scott was first, Charlie, G, and Carla now. Um, Ding -ding. And in, in, it was early days, it was 2009, like in an Oracle open world or something, <laughs> and he was telling me about this startup that he's doing. And, and one of the things that struck me is the vision around the API economy, mm. which was new at the time. It was like, well, okay, what's that? And that's really what's, what's happened here. It's part of simplicity, it's part about the ecosystem. We were talking about products versus platforms. You can't really have a platform unless you have an ecosystem. So where are we at today? How does that relate to your partnership with, with Veeam? Yeah, it, it's such a great recall on your part, you know, because I think um, we are a storage company. We do provide arrays in the wild, you know, over 10,000 customer, tens of thousands of arrays now. And, you know, but at the core, it's the software that matters. And, and that's really what drives the user experience. And we're proud to be, you know, a, the development partner on the Universal Storage API, the US API for Veeam. That is an essential ingredient to success for the joint Pure and Veeam customer experience. It gives them that single pane of glass, that administrative view where they're able to get the information they need on what's happening within their environment and be able to take corrective action. And you know, we're very proud of all the tools that we provide our storage customers, but in a, in a data protection use case and workload, they want to put, you know, they want to go right to Veeam and, and have that be the source of truth. And that's where that API is so important. What, what's the story to customers, Michael, in terms of particularly cyber resilience? You've got obviously got a TCO play, simple equals yep. lower cost. Um, you got really much tighter service level agreements and requirements now. Um, the security, the storage and data protection and security space are kind of coming together. So what's the narrative for customers? Give me the pitch. Yeah, look, I think, I think every customer today has an obligation to include security as a must have within their solution anywhere in the data center. And for us, it's, you know, simply put, the combination of Veeam for data protection with Pure for Flash or AC or Flash Blade with safe mode you know, which provides that immutability, provides that customer with a safeguarded copy against bad actors externally to their organization, or it was jointly developed with a customer to prevent the risk of bad actors inside of the organization. Um, City of New Orleans is one of the customer references that's up on, you know, the Pure Storage website. Just a, a great, um, you know, story in terms of the city's ability to defend against a ransomware attack, continue, you know, with continuity of essential services, police, ambulances, fire departments, um, all in the combination of Pure and Beam. And so, you know, a good, you know, example to pull that thread all the way through in terms of what the value proposition is and then what's the experience for the customer when they are, find themselves on the other side of that event. What's the nature of the partnership um, with, with Veeam? Obviously there's a go-to-market. Um, are there you know, solutions that you guys are doing together, engineering that work that you're doing together? Can you explain that? Yeah, you bet. I, I mean, you know, these are two of, uh, I think, high-profile adjacencies in the data center. You got your primary storage and then secondary, tertiary, and you've got your data protection use case and workload. Um, with Veeam, we've got dedicated engineering 
to the Veeam partnership on the pure side as a development partner for the US API. Um, you know, is a, is a key piece. We're integrated into what the support experience is like for the customer and really starting to challenge ourselves now with some of the leadership changes that Veeam's taken on and the opportunity to sit down and, and spend some time, you know, with Anand and, and John and really say, hey, like, we're at the core here. We've got an opportunity. Let's, let's open up some strategic doors and see what could be next. Well, Veeam is maturing, there's no question. It's kind of, early Veeam was the Wild West. That's right. Of course, big parties are still, you know, they're reputational, but, but as you think about these joint engineering and joint go-to-market and you talk to, to joint customers, where do you see sort of the future? I mean, I, I, you know, the ransomware stuff, I mean, obviously the pandemic was impossible to predict. I, I shouldn't say that, a lot of people did predict it, but now that we see it. But now that you have some visibility on these permanent changes, that are affecting CISO buying strategies, data protection, storage buying strategies. How do you see the future of this relationship? Yeah, look, I think, I think the, um, at the core, we do what we do, and we're focused on continuing to innovate and do it with excellence in everything that we do. Um, we measure ourselves rigorously against a net promoter score. It's a certified net promoter score. We're at 85.2, top 1% of all B2B. So ahead of Veeam even. At the core, barely. <laughs> at the core, it's it's about that customer experience and customer satisfaction. Um, and, and so that's a maybe a, a different way of saying we trust that our partners do what they do with excellence. And in the case of Veeam, you know, partnering around the data protection use case and workload, looking at how that's evolving into holistic data management and hybrid cloud environment. Um, we see rich opportunity for us to continue the partnership, strengthen it, learn and listen from our customers and our partners, and, uh, and maybe challenge ourselves to, to do some things a little differently and uniquely along the way. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah you, you, mentioned, uh, you mentioned something at the outset that lends a lot of credi credibility to the pure story anywhere you seek to play. Uh, you mentioned that, uh, you know, founded in 2009, product shipping in 2012. Um, I remember that. Dave's not old enough to remember that period of time. <laughs> but uh, if you remember, um, violin memory was the king. They, they, were, they were the ones to beat. Yep. And you guys were quietly toiling in a bit of obscurity. And people are asking, well, when, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give us something. But you didn't until you were ready. So I've seen that methodical approach in every, in every step of the way as you've transformed from being a product into solution focus and partnership focus. Um, so what does that look like moving forward? You, you mentioned kind of getting ahead of the game in terms of all backups and recovery uh, volumes being on flash. What does that addressable market look like to you guys in the future? How, how are you looking at that? Is yeah. this just the beginning of a new thing that's going to develop over time? Yeah, I think, I think it's, a, it's a great question. It's an insightful question. It's also a great way for me to plug Accelerate in, in 20, you know, 20 days or so. Um, it's a great backdrop for Pure to make some announcements in terms of what's next and, and, you know, and when we're ready to make them. You know, it's a good example. Um, but, but in direct answer to your question, you know, without a doubt, you know, the adjacencies between data protection primary storage, secondary storage, the blurring that's happening within that, you know, based on the ransomware threats, based on, you know, other environments around cloud and, and how customers have learned from cloud experiences early on and applying those learnings, not just to demanding simplicity in their solutions, but demanding the ability for, you know, kind of the storage as code. And, and to have that cloud operating model across everything that they do. And so, you know, I think those are at the core some of the things that we think about in terms of what's next and, and, uh, and to do it with partners like Veeam at the forefront as well as the voice of our customer at the forefront. And that's what I wanted to ask you. That's a great setup. Thank you, David. Um, so the Portworx acquisition was really interesting. We're at, um, in Valencia, Spain. The Cube is, uh, our, our colleagues are over there. Unfortunately, John Furrier couldn't make the trip. The vid hit him. Uh, but one of the conversations, a topic of conversations over there is, you know, shift left with the solar winds hack, the sensitivity around the software supply chain. We certainly talked about it last week at Red Hat Summit. I haven't heard a lot about DevOps here, but it's sort of intrinsic that that whole shift left component, that idea of not bolting on data protection at the tail end, actually 
shifting left, means you're doing it in the development cycle, not throwing it over the fence you know, to, to the operations people. What's that conversation like subsequent to the Portworx acquisition, which was very interesting, a small lever can go a long way. Can you give us the update there? Yeah, and first and foremost, I hope John's okay, right? And, he is, and he's doing good. well. Good. We Mr. John. We do. And so, you know, I think the, um, the, the future of applications is really on center stage when you put Portworx into the conversation. Mm -hmm. And so as companies move, like no one's gonna develop applications today without a container strategy right. related to that. And that's gonna allow for the applications to move and data gravity to really play a bigger role. And Pure feels confident in our ability to play a big role in that. And as those applications mature up the containerized curve, they're definitely gonna have data protection, data management, other fundamental things built into it in that shift left context that we're gonna be prepared to take advantage of based on the assets we have. The two hardcore engineering cultures uh, that, are, that have momentum, uh, Pure and, and Veeam. Michael, it's great to see you again. Thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be with you gentlemen and uh, great to meet you for the first time. Good to meet you, Michael. Look forward to seeing you the next time and, and thanks again. All right, you bet. All right, keep it right there everybody. Thanks for watching. This is theCUBE's coverage of Veeam on 2022. We're at the Aria in Las Vegas and we'll be right back right after this short break.